guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making peanut butter monkey bread. This is an awesome dish for brunch or whenever you have friends coming over, it's really great for sharing with a crowd. And it's actually really simple to make. We've got fun ingredients for this. We're using some refrigerated buttermilk biscuit dough, some chopped peanuts, granulated sugar, a little cinnamon, some salt, brown sugar, vanilla extract, our mighty maple peanut butter, and some butter. So let's get started. Yes. Um, I'm gonna need your help here. Awesome. If you can grab the cinnamon and the sugar and the salt, and just get them all into our zipped baggie here. Done and done. Super fun and easy. And so now we're gonna take our refrigerated dough and we're gonna take each disc and just cut it into four pieces. That they don't have to be perfect or anything. And then these can go right into our baggie with the sugar and all the other goodies. Oh, cool. All right, so if you wanna work on that. Happy to. Well, I do our sauce. It's gonna combine the butter and the brown sugar. Ooh. It's the start of a lot of delicious things. A lot of good things in here. And I'm gonna add some peanut butter. So we're doing half a cup of Mighty Maple peanut butter. Good choice for this sort of brunchy bread. Oh, totally, yeah, it's brunch. That's when we do peanut butter. About a half a cup. And so I'm just gonna let the heat melt all these goodies in here and bring that all together. So now that I'm cutting up this last biscuit, what do I do over here? Instruct me. Alrighty, so now that you've got everything in there, just close it up. Okay. And then you're gonna shake a shake a shake up. <laughs> all right, all right. You gotta do it exactly like that. I can handle yeah. that. So you just wanna shake and get the sugar and the cinnamon all over every single little ball of dough in there. All right, and sort yeah. of break them apart a little bit. Yep, just gotta press the dough. There we go, our sauce is doing well here. It's nice and melted. So I'm gonna take this off the heat and add our vanilla. Just whisk that right in. Mmm, that smells really good. Mm. All right. So now we can start making our monkey bread. All right. You wanna bring that pan over yes, here? here? So we've got a nice bunt pan here, which we've spritzed with a little bit of uh, baking spray. And we're gonna start layering in our dough and the nuts. So if you wanna handle dough and I take nuts. All right. I did give you the messy one. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so just sort of scatter them in. Yeah, just kind of scatter them in. All right. So do like about a third of it and then we'll put in nuts. And All right. The fun thing about it, it's just it's such a kind of fun, super messy dish, so. So easy. You don't have to be super particular about it. Oh, it'll yeah, fussy, all, that's nice. Yeah, it'll all bake together deliciously. And with this little bit of extra sugar, should I be pouring that on at the oh, end? Oh, yeah, we'll okay. just, yeah, we'll get that scattered in. This is so simple. It's so fun. This is a really great recipe to do with kids, or if you've just got a bunch of friends over. There you go. It also feels like a little bit like donut holes. There's something super, totally. super decadent about it. Ooh, there we go. That sugary goodness. Yes. And this looks like it's not filling the pan, but once it bakes, it's gonna rise up and fill it all. So I'm gonna get the rest of these peanuts in there. And now we are gonna add our delicious syrupy sauce. Just gonna pour that right in. Yes. How amazing does that look? That's the stuff right there. Awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. Wait until you see what happens. So I'm just using a spoon just to kind of push the dough in a little bit and let that awesome syrup soak all the way down. So this is gonna go into the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees and just wait till you see how it looks when it comes out. Amazing. I'm so excited. The monkey bread is out of the oven. It is all golden and puffy and delicious. Smells awesome. It smells amazing. It does. Yeah, you need to make this so you can smell this. <laughs> <laughs> so we let it cool just for a little bit, about 10 minutes to let it set. And now I'm gonna flip it out onto our serving plate. Good luck. I know, fingers crossed. This is the dangerous part. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cinnamon and sugar, so that's all... tricky when you have to flip things out. Totally. So wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Woo! Do you even know why it's called monkey bread? Actually, I looked this up. So apparently it's Ooh, yes! Look how good this is. Um, but yeah, so monkey bread, it actually looks like this uh, tropical fruit that has lots of little holes in it like that. Awesome. So, yeah, apparently that's one of the reasons. I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna add a little final finishing touch here just to make it extra peanut buttery. I've got some more Mighty Maple that I popped into the microwave just for about 30 seconds to warm it up. 
And I'm gonna drizzle it right on top oh, of yes. the monkey bread. There we go. And then just a teeny final finishing touch. I've got a little bit of uh, flaky sea salt here. Just gonna sprinkle it on. It works really nicely with the sweetness of the monkey bread. It helps balance it out, I'm balances sure. Balances it out. Makes it a little extra fancy. <laughs> So there you have it, peanut butter monkey bread. So I am ready to dig into this. Will you join me? Me too, yes. All right. Can't stop me. <laughs> so gooey and awesome. And I love how it just like pulls out of these little chunks. Mm. Really good stuff. Oh my god. So good, you guys. <laughs> this is like seriously like the best French dish ever. It's like a cinnamon roll, but better and easier. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you aren't doing this right now. Yeah, like. Get going. Do it. Make this happen. <laughs> Peanut butter monkey bread is as fun to eat as it is to make. What other fun to eat food would you like to see us make next? Tell us about it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We hope you love this recipe. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Every week we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you go to the Peanut Butter Company channel to catch them all. We'll see you next time. And so now we're gonna take our refrigerated dough and we're gonna take each disc and just cut it into four pieces. So just do right in half and then, ooh. <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna cut that and I'll demo another one.